Hi everyone, it's Yvette Blows from SparkGirl.com and welcome to the SparkGirl Book Club Show! Super excited to be here with you today in this online space, virtually, together. One thing that has come out of COVID-19 is that we, you and I, get more time at home. And what does that mean? At the moment, we can't travel internationally nor do things that we normally would do. It's not a normal year, as they are calling it. It's the new norm. But one new norm I know that is here to stay is reading books, which is a really positive thing because reading books actually helps to reduce stress. And it's also a great way to learn. You can learn decades about a particular topic or about someone's life or their go-to tips. There is so much you can learn from books, which will then, in return, improve your life. I'm so grateful that my mum, who is just like my whole world, my role model, my inspiration, she was the woman who I can thank now for this opportunity that we are having here because every Friday she used to buy me a Golden Gate book from the news agency. As I would walk into the news agency at the door, I would be greeted by the Golden Gate books. These are little like hard kind of cardboard books and then have little stories in them. And there would be all different little ones and they did cost a lot of money back then. I obviously didn't have any money. One thing I never asked my mum for is like, oh, mum, 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 mum. Can I have a gold again book? Can I have a book? Can I have a book? I didn't do any of that. I was quite just the kid that would observe the beauty of the book and look at the covers and just feel this sense of inspiration and love and it just made me feel so good just even looking at the books so i really enjoyed going to the news agency that was a highlight of my childhood but every friday my mum would religiously buy me a book and she would write in there dear yvette love mum i didn't necessarily know what book she was buying she didn't actually buy the book when I was there with her in the news agency. She obviously did that during the week when I wasn't with her, perhaps at primary school. But it was such a gift. I really looked forward to the Fridays. I have the collection of these books, which I love to bits. But she used to buy me a lot of books, all sorts of books growing up. And that really inspired me to want to read. I wasn't the best at reading at all. I really struggled with English and struggled uh, learning. I had a lot of learning difficulties and throughout my whole life, reading or writing actually has been a challenge and a struggle, but I have learned through perseverance and just showing up each week to, to learn and to be open to learning has really helped. So I really want to inspire you. If you think you're a slow reader, you can't read, I don't want that to hold you back. I want you to know that when you do get a book, you will get better at it, you will get faster at it, you will discover new words. And this even happened to me today. I'm like, how do I pronounce this word? And I'm trying to work it out. There will be words that you maybe have never seen. You can Google it. I know that um, we should know every word and the meaning, but that not, might not be the case. So just be really open to the learning process. And I feel that because my mum has taken me on a journey throughout my childhood, that this is really now really set the foundation for me loving books. She also used to take me every Friday to the library and that was the highlight of growing up also. I literally just lived for going to the library with her and we reverse our old Holden, Kingswood, Green. She'd reverse it back and then I'd just be just like, woo, 
like a horse out of the gates. I really looked forward to going to the library on Fridays where it was air conditioned. Two, I got to sit down on the floor and I was just like surrounded with all of these books. Woo! And it was just like so mind blowing that I really loved just pulling a book out. Like, so I really loved running and I was always fascinated by how did an Olympian, how did this person like Betty Cuppard become an Olympian? And I was so fascinated by learning about other people and what they were doing. And I feel like that fascination still is with me today. Learning about what makes someone else successful or learning about their story, their words of wisdom or things that they do. And I used to just love looking at the travel books, of course, which I love to do travel, as you know. And I was just super excited. Like I would literally go to every row aisle the hardest thing at the end of the library session was one when the librarian said, okay, we're going to be closing. It's time to go home soon. Pretty much get your last books, hurry up, get out of here. Cause we'd been there for hours and my mum had had her books that she was going to get. And I would always have so many books. Like I wanted to take all these books and then there was a limit. And then I'd get to the counter and give my little like, um, library card over and then the lady would say look you've got to let go of four books and then I would work out oh and that was probably the biggest challenge then cassettes came in where you could listen to books via cassettes yep and magazines magazines they started getting so many magazines I was like oh I cottoned on that if I got to the library, I didn't have to pay for the Dolly magazine or the Girlfriend magazine or the Women's Weekly magazine because it was all there. And each week I could take the books home and each week I could bring them back. So I really loved how my mum was a great inspiration. And I feel that because she religiously Really every Friday it was a ritual, the Golden Gate book, the library, and it happened religiously growing up, that that's why I get so excited when I go into a bookstore now, or so excited when I'm surrounded with books, or so excited to interview authors about their book, what inspired them to write their book. And that's why I'm so excited we get to hang out here now for the Spirit Girl Book Club. And yeah, so that's a little bit of the story. And then you all know that I wrote uh, It Starts With Me book. Now, this was literally a dream that started when I was eight years old. Yep, yeah, I'm now 43 this year in November. So this dream became the, the seed was planted when I was eight and I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show beside my mum in our house and next minute Louise Hay came on to the Oprah Winfrey show with Oprah and she just captivated me and really drew me in. She had immaculate hair, her makeup was amazing, her presentation and she spoke so well and she spoke with such truth and, and knowledge and, and it was incredible. And then Oprah was interviewing her and then for the first time it was like the penny dropped where I was like, wow, these are two women talking on TV, on national TV, getting paid to do this. Louise Hayes written a book, so now she's just gotten on the Oprah show. So the penny dropped that if I could write a book like Louise Hay, I too could get on the Oprah show. So it was quite funny because this is what I'm thinking at eight years of age. And then the next penny drops, which is, it goes a little bit like this. Hmm. Oh, and then Louise is getting paid to travel the world to talk about her book, to meet people, to talk to people, to help people. So what if I could write a book to help people, to talk to people? Or what if I could interview people 
about their story. So it was like a really like win-win, like Oprah was interviewing her and having the time of her life, finding out things about this author, Louise Hay. Louise Hayes was sharing her tips and things that she was doing to feel good, to heal herself. And it was just like, wow, these two women are incredible. And prior to that, I'd only ever seen men on TV. And in particular, Jerry Springer, which was complete, utter chaos. And it stressed me totally out. And as a kid, I just, it didn't make me feel good. So when these two women were on stage and on national TV, that was the defining moment for me. And I know that Oprah Winfrey one has a book club, so my mum was part of that, I was part of that, so I grew up reading the Eckhart Tolle books, learning about the Deepak Chopras of the world, the spirituality, all of this new age, woo woo stuff that Aussie men, including my dad, um, and many others probably thought, oh, what are these women watching and what is all this woo woo? So it was really exciting times. I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm so grateful for my mum's inspiration, Louise Hay, who sadly passed, and also Oprah, as you know, huge fan of these three women. And this is really what's helped shape my life. So I hope I can share the love and the inspiration to you you may not have had a mum like me or you may not even have a mum or know your mum. And I just hope that I can share the gift of what I've received and give that gift to you. And I also want to give you the opportunity if you don't have your mum, sadly, or you don't know your mum or your mum has never given you a book on a Friday, or perhaps your mum's never been into books, but you've just learnt about how readers are leaders, which is what Jim Quick says in Limitless. I wanna now give you a gift. This is gonna be a virtual book club, as you know, due to COVID-19. Uh, restrictions are still in place. We can't travel international, but we can hang out on YouTube, Instagram, and every other not to mention the Spark Girl podcast show. So this book here is by Jim Quick, Limitless. Now, he refers to himself as the boy with the broken brain. Not that he has that anymore, but in the book, he actually talks about his personal experience, his brain injury, and how he actually really struggled, had learning difficulties, uh, and... I'm not going to tell you his life story, but it's at the start and it's when you read where he was at to where he is today, it will just completely blow your mind, blow you away. So Jim Quick now is one of the world's leading accelerated learning coaches, brain coach. He's on a mission to create better, brighter brains, and really to unlock your full potential, your true potential, and as they say, upgrade your brain on his book, learn anything faster, and unlock your exceptional life. In this book, you will learn about 10 brain foods that he recommends to get healthy brain function. I'll tell you one of the things that I have daily, which Jim Quick, the author, has, and he also recommends it in the book. It's blueberries. But in this book, you can also learn how to become faster at reading, how to check out how fast your actual speed is per minute, but he also talks about how to set yourself up to learn, accelerated learning. One of the key things he also recommends, which I do too, is setting aside, even if it's 15 minutes each day, put it in your calendar, make an appointment to read your book to yourself, and then just start building on that.
And I totally recommend that. And that is how at the moment I'm able to read one book a week. But that's also thanks to Jim Quick because I've doubled my speed reading per minute and I've learned so many valuable tips just from reading his book. But one of the things I like, he talks about how to get rid of limiting beliefs and how to become limitless, which is the cover of his book. So if you say, I can't read, that's exactly what you will become. So he really goes over that in the book. And it's a bit like if you say I can't read, he'll say if you fight for your limitations, that's what you'll get. So, but if you said, I am going to read 15 minutes a day, it completely changes your perception, your thoughts and your life. You go from I can't to I can and I am and you take action. So in the book I really like, he refers to a lot of reports from neuroscientists, psychologists, so much to do with brain health, which I'm really interested in because I just feel that's an area that not only I can benefit from and my mum who's in aged care, but all of us can benefit from. We only get one brain and if it's not functioning to our maximum potential, it really can alter and affect our life. So brain health, one brain, quick brain, gym, quick. In this book, he also shares loads of resources, which are for free that you get through his site. Also lots of activities, lots of action, lots of how to, which I really loved because it's one to talk about your story. That's fine. But now how can we take his tips and action them in our lives? And that's what I really loved about this book. Also how to focus, how to sharpen your focus. And there's just so much. And I just don't want to give it away to you, but if you did want to learn like how to read better, quicker, like there's so much information coming at us. Maybe you need to read as part of your job. Maybe you need to help your children now with their assignments or with school. Maybe you want to read more books to develop your own self. Or maybe you want to study again. Whatever your why is, if you really, if it's to do with brain health, if it's to do with reading more, learning more and becoming limitless, then this is a great book. So giving Jim Quick a big plug, super excited. I'm sharing him at the Spark Girl Book Club because he truly has inspired me to make time to read each day, which I do. He's also inspired me to be limitless and he's also inspired me to share the love of reading with you. So on that note, I can't wait to hear if you've read Limitless, let me know. If you feel like you want to learn more about Limitless, then head to Jim Quick. That's his real name. He didn't make that up. That's actually his real name, Jim Quick. So isn't it fascinating that once upon a time, he was the boy referred to with the broken brain, but now he's like the world's fastest, best accelerated learning coach for brain. Um, he works with celebrities, athletes, the world's top leaders, but you know what I love most? He works with you and I, real everyday people, because he's wanting to transform as many lives on this planet that he possibly can, as Jim Quick would say, you are limitless. Bye for now.